Wrong button. <laughs> Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Foo, and today, well, today we're gonna be talking about something that it just makes everyone's life so much easier, so much happier, and just so much better when it comes to Ark Survival Evolved. Because today we're gonna be talking about kibble, and not just any kibble, we're shooting straight to the top, baby. That's right, we're gonna be talking about no other kibble other than extraordinary kibble. Say it with me. Extraordinary kibble or extraordinary kibble. There you go. You can even say it with that same inflection. It works and it it makes you just feel good. That's right. Yeah, try it right now. Just scream at your phone or your computer, whatever you're watching this on. Just go extraordinary. Yeah, that right there. Because we're gonna be talking about that kibble. Because I mean, with the new kibble system, the new kibble system, it, it's it's interesting. It's a big change from the um, from the old kibble system, and that change happened a long time ago. So we're not reverting back, baby. That's right. We're stuck. We're we've got the kibble system we've got now. So we bet you know we we need to make the most of it. So now what I do in when I'm playing through my uh, um, playthroughs here on YouTube. I really just shoot straight to the top. Go extraordinary or go home is my motto. Um, that way there, all the little bits and bobs of the smaller kibble, the little lesser kibbles down below wishing there were extraordinary. Yeah, we forget those because we don't need them. All right, now, making this extraordinary kibble, it's not the easiest thing. Well, it is. After you get used to it, it just it's just second nature. It, it's really easy. Now, the recipe for it is one special egg, We'll cover that here in a minute. One, or five fiber, one giant bee honey, one Lazarus chowder, we'll also cover that, and also the giant bee honey, and, or ten, and ten measure berries, and water. That's it. Yeah, it, it sounds delicious, doesn't it? Clam chowder with egg. Yeah, but, um, and also a sweet honey-based clam chowder with egg, with apparently celery and berries added into it. Mmm, delicious. But yeah, um, this right here, it, it's really easy to make. And once you actually uh, start just kind of whenever you have the resources whipping up the Lazarus chowder, it's not that bad. Now, um, I do expect by this time, if you are starting to think about the needs for kibble, then you already have a refrigerator. That's kind of necessary. Um, you can do this in a cooking pot. Um, but... Yeah, but with the refrigerator, I mean, you can store all sorts of cool stuff in here. I mean, you can store um, all your veggies, all the everything like that that you need for making your chowders. You can even store your chowders once you're done, plus also your eggs. Um, you can do this all with just a uh, preserving bin, but if you're still um, stuck in the, age, in the era of preserving bins, then chances are you're not ready for kibble yet. All right, so another thing that you're going to need, you're going to need a greenhouse. Let's be honest here. Most Ark Survivals either have a greenhouse or some variation of uh, crops growing. You need to have that because you need that for your Lazarus Chowder. All right? And then from there, over here, you're going to need a form of making the... Or getting the special eggs. Now, the special eggs only come from five things. That's it. Five different types of eggs are the only ones that uh, they come from. Dinonychus, if you're playing on Valgaro, which is actually really good... Um, if you're playing on Valgaro, I would recommend that you uh, um, go with Dinonychus instead of the Uteranuses that I'm going to show you everybody on the island. On all the regular normal servers, I'm going to show everybody how to get those uh, Uteranuses really quick, really easy. All right, um, another one that you can get is the Golden Hesperonus eggs. Forget that. Just throw that sucker out the window because those things are a nightmare. You can get them. Yeah, they're good. Um, yeah, just don't worry about it. All right, the rock drake eggs. If you're on aberration, this is your only form of pl of getting uh, um oh of getting extraordinary kibble is with rock drake eggs, which means that you're going to be spending a lot of time down in the trench just grabbing a whole ton of them. All those little level tens, level fives, uh, level um fifteens. I don't know what difficulty you're playing on, but all the little ones that you're not going to hatch. Use for extraordinary kibble. It's actually really easy, and once you already have a nice high level rock drake getting the rest of the eggs it's super simple and super easy and super fast all right uh wyvern eggs is another one on scorched earth you can use wyvern eggs for it i would recommend not using um wyvern eggs for it because they are kind of just more trouble than they're worth when there's an easier simpler solution because this brings us to our last one the uteranus egg is super simple to get super easy they lay them like they're well just kind of flying out of their 
but really, because that's kind of what they do. So yeah, um, go with Uteranus eggs. Uteranus eggs are super easy. I mean, if you're playing on the island, they're great. If you're playing on Scorched Earth, they're everywhere. If you're go, if you're um, playing on Extinction, yeah, you can get them. Yeah, yeah, you can still get them on Extinction. So I would recommend um, if you're not playing on Aberration or Valgaro, go with Uteranus. Uteranus is super easy, super simple. So that's why today we're going to be covering Uteranus because um, that's part of the thing that you need. All right, so before we head out and we go over to the Uteranus area that I'd love to use uh, to tame up a whole bunch of Uteranuses, we're going to be talking about Lazarus Chowder. Lazarus Chowder is really easy. All it takes is nine, nine cooked meat, all right, or cooked fish meat, or cooked meat jerky. Just use cooked uh, meat or cooked fish meat. It's super easy to do. You can just throw it in a campfire. You can get it done like that. Or by this time, you should be high enough level to uh, um, use a grill so you can just whip up a whole bunch. All right. And then also, you're going to need five Sava Root. If, I hear you down there, Butts Bud. Shush. All right. So, um, yeah, if, you're, um, if you already have a greenhouse or you have some sort of crops going, chances are you already have the four uh, major veggies, the four, um, the four food groups from the uh, uh, growing the veggies. All right. So you should have a bunch of Sava Root. Also, you're going to need long grass. So that's also part of your veggies. You're going to need five of those as well. And then you're gonna need ten measure berries. And if you're growing uh, um, oh, a greenhouse, either you already have uh, um, measure berries growing, or you have some sort of a trike, or a stego, or even a bronto for gathering up a whole bunch of measure berries. Measure berries are not a problem. And also, you're gonna need two narcotics. I don't know why you put narcotics in there, but apparently, when you're eating your chowder, you want to get real mellow. So yeah, that's the thing. You're gonna add two narcotics to this. So let's go back over the recipe. It's nine cooked meat or cooked fish meat, five savaroot, five long grass, 10 measure berries, two narcotics, one water. Not bad at all. Take that, put that inside of a uh, um, cooking pot or an industrial cooking uh, station. Get that stuff cooking up and then et voila. You've got all the, um, oh, the chowder that you need. The only hard part really is cooking up batches. That's it. That's normally what I do. I will go through and I'll cook up batches of usually about 40 or 50 um, oh, chowders at a time. Where, where is my chowder stash? I know I'm running kind of low. There we go. Oh, yeah, 45 right here. So whenever I need it, I've got it in there. Yes, I do also cook this other stuff on the other kibble, but this the extraordinary kibble is the one that you want. And hold on, let's go. It's, ta-da! There's Extraordinary Kibble. All right, now, I'm not going to add some sort of sound effect in post. I'm just not going to do that. But hey, let's just picture it right here. Ta-da! Right there. All right, so now that we've got that, now um, with the Extraordinary Kibble, or now with the uh, um, Lazarus Chowder, now you need bees. Now, you can either take a uh, um, Dire Bear over to the Redwoods, find a uh, beehive over there, whack it a couple times, get a whole bunch of uh, honey, and get 15 at a time. It's really easy. It's really effective. Or you can just go smack a beehive until um, oh it cracks open, the queen bee falls on the ground, then you can uh, sneak up on her and then stick a um, rare flower up her butt. And then you can make her yours, and then you can set this down and put like that. And just remember, rare flowers go in there, and they will... Here, this is going to hurt me. All right, please don't hurt me too bad. All right, so now all you do is put rare flowers in there. You get a ton of honey. And it, basically, that the honey is the only thing I'm waiting on for each batch is how much honey I have at that time. And that kind of hurt. That was, it wasn't as, it wasn't that bad. All right, thanks, Ned. All right, so now that we've got that covered, we've got the honey and the Lazarus chowder covered. Now we're going to fly over and uh, we're gonna go to the Uterana spot. Now this right here, see the eggs right there, the Argent eggs, that's the only reason why I have other uh, types of kibble is because my dinosaurs lay eggs. So, I mean, if I have them, I might as well cook them. But yeah, other than that, I use Extraordinary Kibble for just about everything. If I have the kibble, the other kibble available, I'll use it for imprinting. But other than that, pff, stick some Extraordinary Kibble on it. I've got tons. I've got loads. This stuff's coming out of my ears. It's amazing. And it can... Hold on. And it can with you, too. With these simple tips and tricks. And yeah. All right. Uteranus. Let's go. All right. Now, the place is already hopping. Yeah, this is super easy, super quick, super simple. There's already a ton of, uh, of Uteranuses here. So let's repair our, uh, um, our pen.
Okay. So now that the pen is repaired, all right, now we're just going to take, you know what? We'll just take you and we'll drop you off over somewhere safe. All right, because this place on the map here, let me show you. Right there on the map, it there's so many Uteranuses around here because it's right next to uh, all the, I mean, it's right in between all these biomes. Plus, it has the winter biome over here, all that stuff. Yeah, it's, it's really easy, really simple. There we go. All right, now we're a little bit more festive with our ugly sweater and our... And our swimming trunks. All right, let me go park this guy and I'll bring you guys back. All right, so back down in here. Now, at this point in time, you can either use crossbows or you can use... You can use crossbows or you can use long necks. I prefer uh, using long necks, but um, I don't expect you to have a long neck. I do expect you to have a crossbow. That's one of the things that I do expect you to have. All right. And we're getting um, frightened, but that's okay. We're on our handy dandy Thyla. You can do this on the back of a saber tooth. You can do this on the back of a dire wolf. You can do this on the back of anything that you can... Uh, um, fire from the back or you can just grab an argent or a quetzal if you're high enough level and you have one tamed and lure it in there all right as soon as this comes up we're going to bam let's break free of that all right come on guys no 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 there we go all right get inside of here all right see so there's one And you kind of just want to get the Carnos off to the side. All right, the Sabertooth's over there. Now all we have to do is just kind of just shoot it in the butt. Come on, come on. All right, and then anything that it decides it wants to go fight, we can just go kill it for it. Just like that. That way there, it's also healing up. Cool mammoth. I'm uneasy apparently. Now this is the only frustrating part: is luring it inside the pen um, with through the scare. That's it. Once you uh, figure that out, it's actually not that hard. All right, and then once you have it inside of the pen, all you do is knock it out. Now you can either use uh, a crossbow, and I do expect everybody to have a better than primitive crossbow on this because at this point in time. If you don't have one, grab yourself a Trondon, go get a whole bunch of loot drops. Trust me, it's super easy. I also expect you to have cryopods. And I'm going to use a long neck with just regular tra um, trank darts. Take this thing, knock it out. Make sure you stay well enough away from it so where you're not going to get hit by the fear roar. Because they will fear roar as soon as they de-aggro from the pen. If they're aggroed through the pen, you actually kind of just got lucky. I have no clue what level this uh, um, thing is, or if it's male or if it's female. But it's already running, so hey, that's a big plus. And you're down. All right, and we're just gonna use prime meat from when we were, uh, um, oh, when we were out uh, luring this thing in. Plus, there's tons of mammoths around here. Carnos right here. This stuff's everywhere. It's prime meat everywhere. All right, and remember, if you're taming for a kibble farm, you don't need to use the kibble that you're going to use for the, from them to tame them. All you have to do is just tame them. Because the level doesn't matter when you're doing a kibble farm. You just need their body. That's it. You just need them to lay eggs. What are you? You're male, level 10, Uteranus. Not a problem. All right. So we're just going to throw our prime meat on this little guy. We're going to get that. Throw this on here. And then all you're looking for is a male and a female. Level doesn't matter at all just one male one female that's all you have to tame from these guys um when you're doing the kibble farm if you want to do bosses and stuff like that yeah you will eventually have to find a really nice high level uteranus that today is not that day all right and then when they tamed up it doesn't matter what you name them i usually just name them their gender and then that's it. I mean, if it's the male, you need to know he's the male from a distance. So just name him a male. All right. So 
Now we're just gonna take this, we're gonna throw this guy inside a cryopod, because at this point in stage, if you don't have cryopods, you're really not in the uh, market for kibble anyway. All right, and you can craft um, cryopods on any map. So now we're gonna head over, back over to base, um, because now if I was doing this regularly, um, if I was doing this on uh, setting up my initial one, I would stay, stick around here until I have a uh, female, just one female. Remember, that's all you need is one female. And then, um, once you have that, head back to, um, your base, and let's go set things up. That's a Christmas Alpha Raptor right there. That's a cool-looking Alpha Raptor. Alright, and once you have your Uteranus, all you have to do is set out the male. You set, build a structure so where you can set them so where their eggs fall down. I've seen all sorts of different structures. Use your imagination, or you can just take this one. This one right here works very well for my purposes. I have all the females, every single one of these. Let me grab the handy dandy laser pointer. And then apparently reload it. I set all of the uh, um, females up here on the edge so where they're, whenever they poop out an egg, it falls right down here on the ground so I can easily grab it. And then I have the male right here so he adds the male bonus um, to the mate bonus to all of these so they'll uh, lay more eggs quicker, faster, stronger. You know all the deal. All right, and then... Um, if we only had two, our male and female, low-level ones, all I'd do is I'd set the male right here, I'd set the female right here until, uh, um, uh, I bred a whole bunch of females so I could just lead them all up there. Because that's the only thing these guys are for, is for, uh, uh, giving us a whole ton of eggs. And then once we have a ton of Uteranus eggs, go and, uh... Oh, cook them up with our Lazarus Chowder and our hunt- our bee honey, and then... There you go. Endless, amazing, extraordinary kibble. You'll never need any other kibble other than that, but you will eventually get the other kibbles um, just because you'll have other dinos that you're playing with. And you might as well cook those up um, while you're going. But you really don't need to. That's not necessary because the kibble that you're using is the kibble that you're going to be using to imprint and it's going to be the stuff that you're going to be using to tame. And you're, you're going to eventually just carry around a stack of it wherever you go. And you find something you like, you knock it out. Throw some of your kibble that you're carrying around on it. There you go. All right, so that's how you set up the ultimate uh, kibble farm. Yeah, it's that simple. It's that easy. Enjoy. All right, so hey, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. Until next time, this is Flinger Foo. Take it easy, everybody.